Jesus. So how are we doing tonight, guys? So, not an Easter project tonight. I uh, actually got an order for a couple of the beer bottle openers, and uh, so, uh, and I need to get it knocked out before Sunday, so I figured I'd pour them tonight, get them done, and then they have all day tomorrow before they go out to their prospective owner. Uh, I took some advice. I put hinges on this. They were hard to put on right at first because I didn't, wasn't sure, but I did put the hinges on. Uh, they were brass, so I kind of painted them gold, but it works perfect. Uh, I've still got to trim the top. I trimmed it a little bit, but I've got my Dremel out, so I'm going to use my Dremel, and I'm going to sand the top really good. And then I've got to replace a couple of these that I knocked off when I was doing this. But, uh, yeah, I think it turned out really cute. And this works perfect because now it sits up just fine. It doesn't fall up. The top doesn't fall off. And I can, like somebody had suggested, I could even set it up like this and leave it open so you could see the inside of it. Uh... Y'all, there were so many comments on ideas for these. Oh my gosh, there was one. The comments were perfect. It was like, uh, Harry Potter, was it, let's see, it was Harry Potter, was it Lord of the Rings? Um, the, what was the one that everybody watched on Game of Thrones? Uh, Wizard of Oz. Yeah, there's so many different ones that I could do, guys, that I'm just like, oh, my gosh, yes, please. Uh, I've got to get some more miniature characters. I love them. Somebody else also had a cool idea and said put down, uh, like, green Velcro grass in the bottom. I don't know if this would work for Velcro because it's a little too hairy, but I, I like your idea. If we could get some green Velcro, put it in the bottom this way, put Velcro, the other part of the Velcro on the little characters and figures and kids could actually move it around and make it and be able to play use it as a play scene but I like it this way I thought it was really cool um, yeah I'm excited so there's like, like I said there's gonna be a lot of them in the future and uh, like I said I've got one I think I'm gonna do a Jurassic Park um, because I have actual little Jurassic Park dinosaurs. And that big white fence kind of looks like one of the fences in one of the movies. Um, that they thought was going to hold these dinosaurs. Clearly it didn't. Uh, but yeah, I thought about maybe using that big white, the larger white fence. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to we're gonna do some fun stuff. And I could even, if I wanted to, if I wanted to do a scene in the back. Oh yeah, and Ray said it needed needs a sun up here in the corner. Um, if I wanted to do a whole scene in the back, I could even print out something like a jungle background and put it in here. Then that way I didn't have to paint it on. So there's so many ideas. You could do scrapbook paper. You could do stickers in the background. Halloween ones. I'm so excited for Halloween. There's going to be so many Halloween. Pretty sure I'm gonna do an Edgar Allan Poe book, and I'm gonna get me a little raven to put in there, and I'm gonna get me a little heart, and make it look like it's underneath a floorboard for the Telltale Heart. I don't know why that's one of my favorite Edgar Allan Poe's is the Telltale Heart. But yeah, there's so many I could do for Halloween. I could even do my favorite one if I could get a figure of him. I'd have to get a little figure of him. Actually, no, I could just use a little bat. Uh, Dark Shadows. My screensaver on my phone, or my wallpaper on my phone, is Barnabas Collins from Dark Shadows. So I could totally do a Dark Shadows uh, book. Used to have one, House of Dark... No. It was a guide to Dark Shadows or something. I used to have, actually, they had like... They weren't Harlequin, but they were like the kind of looked like the Harlequin. They had with gold and they had like an oval in the center and they had all the dark shadows. I used to have them. And for years I collected the VHS tapes because we had a uh, we had a movie store that 
renting them out. Well, when it was going out of uh, business, it was selling all of them. And I, I got in there and the guy had like the whole series. And of course I didn't have the money to buy the whole series, but I think I ended up buying probably about 50 of the tapes. And each tape was one week's worth of episodes. So I hated to break a setup, but all right. Sorry, I was running my stuff through the deep bubbler here. This lid is so hard to get off from this angle. Okay, so I got my stuff here, my black pigment paste, and we're going to take this stick here. Yeah, let's use this end because we already used this end before. There we go. So what I'm doing on this one, this one here, as you can see, has extreme, the or the intense chameleon powders in there. Um, the deep magenta, I believe it was. And uh, the uh, this one here, I'm gonna pour in black. I'm pouring them all in black. This one here, I'm pouring in black. And when it's done, I'm putting this on the bottle, and then I'm going to put her name down the back side of the bottle. So, I printed her name in gold. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers is in black and gold, and then the yellow and red and blue. So, what I thought I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to add some of the... Uh, Black Magic Medium Chunky. I think I'm going to add a little bit of that in here. Um, I may add a couple drops of the glue just to keep it from sinking. It's not super deep, so it can't sink a whole lot, but I don't want it all on one side. So I think we're going to put a couple drops of the glue in it. Gracious. Wow. Hard to get out. Okay, let me grab a pair of my little needle nose here. See if we can grab them with it. Holy smokes. may not be putting this in. I can't get this stupid thing out of here. Can't get the stupid plug out. word it's got this plug in the bottom of it here i mean and i can't get the silly thing out 
watch it come out and I'm just trying to pull it. No, there's no way to turn it. Holy smokes. Okay, well that's not coming out. I'll have Cody work on it tomorrow. Let's see if we can get it out. We'll try this one, see if there's anything left. Not much. Alright, we're going to let this run out for a minute. I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to get this glue in here and then I'll mix it up, put some glitter in with it. Okay, I think I got enough out. Yeah. It makes it, as uh, Michelle at Glitz and Glitter says, it makes it gloopy. Alright, let me get my glitter open here. And we're going to dump. Just like so. Not a ton, but a decent amount. All right. So we're going to pour this into the bottle here first. Okay, we're going to pour a little bit in here. We're letting these move around a little bit here. Covered up my hole. All right, let's do this one. All right, let's do. Do this one. Ah. All right, we're going to pour one last one here. Let's see if everything's full here. Nope, this one over here needs... Whoops, sorry guys. 
All right, this one over here needs some more. This over here needs a little bit more. All right. What do we think? I think they're beautiful. Perfect. All right, we're gonna let these cure. I'm gonna clean everything up here and we'll be back when it's time to demold them. Bye. Hey guys, we're back. So we are ready to demold these and see how they look. excited they're pretty I think they're pretty hopefully they're easy to put the things into <laughs> Come on. oh yeah I see the holes okay Pretty. This one's one of, just an extra one I made. A couple of them are actually extras, but this is the one I made for for the girl. And I'm gonna put this right here on the front. And then her name is going to go on the back. Right there like so. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Very nice. Very, very cool. Okay. That... We'll work on that here in a minute. I want to plot these other two. And this one here, I want to take, and uh, I actually want to take some, like, gold and go over the top of it. this one here this is the one with the oh that's pretty oh my god that's gorgeous all right those are beautiful 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 guys all right so i'm gonna get my little deals out of here There they are. Boy, these are little bitty screws, guys. <laughs> little bitty screws. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see. Alright, we're going to use this small one here.
There we go. I actually need a bigger screwdriver. Alright, there's that one. Get the next one here. What do you think? <laughs> That's pretty cool. And I'm going to put a ring and a loop through here and I'm going to put it on a keychain. Hmm. Pull two more of those out. I wish I had gold in the deals. All right. Okay. Nice. Okay, so on this side, we are going to put this. All right, I'll worry about this one here in a minute. All right, so we're going to put this on. I'm going to do it on this side. Here we go. Now, I'm going to put this like so. Jumping off where I put it. Nope. Come on. I go. Where'd the eye go? I lost my eye. No? Come on. Alright, I'm gonna put you guys on pause. My little eye is not sticking here. Okay. So I got it off. <laughs> Finally, I got it on there. 
was like, holy smokes, that was hard, harder than I needed it to be. And while I did that, while I was off camera, I went ahead and I put the Pittsburgh Steelers on there. I centered it and got it where I wanted it. And uh, what I'm going to do with these, because I don't want uh, another coat of resin over them, I'm going to clear coat them. I've got some clear spray sealer. I'm going to clear coat them uh, at least two times. And that way they'd be nice and nice and clear coated. I do have some trimming to do on the back of these. Um, I don't want them to be sharp when she uses it or anything. There we go. Much better. Okay, I can do the rest of this off camera. I'm going to take, and we're going to put another another one together, maybe two. Uh, this one I might hold off on temporarily, because until I know what I want to do with it. Um, and what I want to put on it, or whatever. But for now, um, let's do this one. Let's see, it ends that way. matter I don't know that it matters really all right Okay, and the next screw. A little screwdriver is pretty handy. It's magnetic tipped. And there, it's a six-piece precision screwdriver set. I got it on Amazon. So you have uh, several little flatheads, and then you have the two, two different sizes of the little Phillips. Is that nice or what? This one needs trim too. They all do, really. Oh well, this one here. This one I want to do. What do I want to do? Do I want to do this one? Alright, hang on a minute. Let me grab a paper towel. We're going to see what happens here. Because this has all kinds of like designs in it and stuff. To me it looks like a peacock. Kind of. I don't know. not working. These pins not working. Shake it up really, really good so we get here now. Nope. 
nothing coming out. Okay. So we will. Here, let's just do it with the. Let's do it with the Dollar Tree one. We'll see what it looks like. If we don't like it, we can wipe it off. Yeah, see, it didn't really go in there very well. I think we need to do it more with acrylic paint. Yeah. It kind of does it. Do you see it there? Yeah, I don't know if I like that or not. All right, we'll worry about that whenever we're, because that's not one I have sold. So, um, do I want to put the others on right now? I really like this one, man. I'm so proud of this. This turned out so nice. And like I said, it's going to be perfect. The girl that is getting this, a friend's buying it for her. She works at a bar, at a club or whatever, so they use bottle openers. I think this is in there pretty good. Let me make sure. Oh, yeah, it's in there good. Yeah, nice. I gotta figure out where I'm what ring I'm gonna put on here. So I think we're gonna wait on these others until I figure out what I'm gonna do with them. The other two. And I ordered a bunch more of these things here because I live in South Florida and these I think these would be a huge hit down here um, yeah I think these are gonna be a huge huge hit so let me find I don't have a jump ring big enough for that but I'm trying to see if I have I have some pinch bells, and I wonder if that'll work better. Let's see here. Let's put that over here. I don't think that'll work. I think we're going to have to use a pinch bell. Maybe. Let's see if these are big enough. I think I have plastic on here. I was like, do I, is there something on here stopping this from opening? Yep. 
First time I've opened these. All over it. Hang on. I got it. Oh, is there one here too? All right, let's see now. Yay! All right, so we have silver in here but we have gold on this and gold on her lettering so which color pinch bell should I do and I don't think that's gonna yeah that might be big enough I don't think it's gonna be actually I think it's going to be big enough. Oh, so close. Maybe? Can I get it in there? Let's see. Here we go. Now we ought to be good. Now we can hook to the keychain and be good. That's on there, boy, I'll tell you, and it ain't coming off either now. But that's all right, though. And now. Let's do All right, come on. Now we put this on here. And I just had it and took it off. All right, guys.
All right. So we have it here. Done. Pretty cool keychains, guys. What do you think? I like this mold. I really do. I think it's going to come in handy because, like I said, I there's a lot of people down here that drink. <laughs> that doesn't sound right, does it? But, yeah, there is. And uh, these are great gifts. So I need some bigger jump rings, though. Timu or Amazon. So, all right, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time. I really like this purple guitar. All right. Um, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, perfect time. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I hope your resin cures beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. Hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.